Hello, this is Oni Stubbs. Hi there, and welcome to my um, Piston and Redstone world. As you can see, I built quite a lot, and this is a, in an empty chest. Because why not? Let's have an empty chest. And here is the uh, automatic light switch of light switchingness. I built a lot of quite a uh, lot of stuff. This is the light switch on the wall. Yeah basically the same thing oh and I also realized how um, the pulse shortener thingy works so I got bored with copying design of other youtubers so I decided to you know what I'm going to make one of my own and uh, here's an an another thing I built it's an uh, trap like so let's take a look in and we also have an incinerator which when activated what's lava <laughs> You know, you know the uh, other day I actually managed to snag a sh sheep under there and the lava turns up pretty quickly and um, yeah so anyway as I was saying hello sheep as I was saying I decided to uh, you know whoa what the hell hmm accidentally clicked off screen I think anyway mm, so I was deciding on a suffocation trap so this is a p pretty basic design just extend the pistons like so so I decided to try an another thing it will um, extend in sync you can probably guess how it works yeah so so the dude actually have a running chance like this like so so I decided to you know work on that design even more um, this is a uh, test thingy do not do not worry about that uh, I'm still working on that it's a work in progress yeah so this is what I build up this is a falling sand trap FTW I don't know what the FTW stands for no it stands for the usual thing so um, let's show you what it does actually um, let's get a good view and let us get the idea so if I say huh, I'm running low on sand not anymore so suppose I okay I need to make a running start so hold on okay and go so as you can see that will be a very useful addition for you know ancient Egypt themed traps just change the uh, outer walls to sandstone and it'll make a nice now you're probably wondering oh no now I have to dig through it with a shovel oh no oh no well oh no we have a sand collection system right here it's basically uh, the wall slides open and uh, yeah y you can actually see it come on it's a uh, pretty simple ah uh, come on I can't get an actual view yeah you get the idea so anyway this thing works is that whoa 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 the redstone sends a pulse which goes on two directions uh, this direction draws away activates the mm, pistons which are by default pushed so when they're activated they'll be pulling back and they'll open that with a certain delay a two tick delay in this case also which is actually approximately the running speed of the player well not the sprinting which in the 1.8 update as you can see that's not the case so I managed to modify it to increase the ceiling because honestly it's a little compact um, people might feel claustrophobic so I built this thing here it's a huge one as you can pretty much tell also the upper the bottom part is the simple um, loading thing I'll show you how it works here is a um, button yeah that's how it works and it drops three layers of sands now the upper part is simply the loading mechanism I'll show you how that works so here is the loader circuit um, here is the loader which basically sends a uh, pulse limiter pulse through here through a delay so that delay goes first which is the first layer of sand then the second uh, signal goes pushes the second layer of sands then the third signal goes pushes the third layer of sands the stairs are for getting up there and loading the sand so I'll just 
Yep, now the thing's loaded. You're probably wondering how how did that happen? Yeah, mwah. that wasn't actually supposed to happen, but you get you you get the idea. It's typically to be um, and that's the uh, collection circuit. Yeah, that's just the collection circuit. Okay, so now we come here and we uh, press the button and we run for our lives. Oh my! Yeah, so see that's kind of hello piggy. Would you like a demonstration? Piggy is not impressed. Anyway, uh, and we have the collection. Simply walk right here and grab your loot and stuff. And back on, off. So it's pretty much the same thing. Only we got a two layer of stuff going. Hold on, let me get up from the other side. Now this actually might look a bit daunting for you know someone who hasn't built one earlier but it's actually not the case i you know upon finishing when i looked at it it's actually looks pretty you know huge I, I didn't realize that while building but it's actually not that complicated at all because when i was building it um you know i was concentrated on building it so i didn't actually think it would get this big and here's the loader circuit you just get here and place the sands like so uh, hmm. I could have just placed ladders but af I only realized that after placing the stairs so it's kind of pointless but whatever that's not the point okay that's actually having a direct connection to the pistons under there that should not have happened but whatever okay so yeah the, that was a phone call so now as you can see there is a slight difference between the uh, redstone and delay positions and stuff okay from here the circuit is pretty much same we're delivering power to two layers of two layers of repeaters one delivers the odd numbered pistons other delivers the top one delivers the even number of pist even position of pistons it, yeah um I basically have a two tick delay in both cases because ah uh, why not so anyway uh, they are powered from the same line same line by default on bo same thing on both sides so yeah same thing on both sides basically yeah mm, so and this is actually quite a good way to you know have uh, two two nearby pistons having a uh, different delays this way is actually quite good that way the connection is completely different using um the uh, using a repeater to send power into a block which sends power into the piston so that is actually quite a good thing anyway now here the difference is uh, you're probably seeing that this is um someone who is a slightly bit savvy with redstone will realize that this is a latch and the problem is that if i have a direct redstone connection oh it's turning night time oh man good morning anyway uh, this is a latch because the thing is um i'll show you suppose we have a direct connection with the button this is a direct connection with the button everything else here is bypassed as you can see so what happens is the this one send in the top layer gets clipped in the returning piston with a normal button pulse that's because the button pulse is too short so we need to lengthen the pulse so this circuit using the latch is actually a pulse extender rather than a pulse limiter and yeah i actually hadn't seen a seen any designs of these things so i actually had to build the pulse limiter from scratch and it was actually quite you know interesting when you're building something on your own that's the first thing you you can actually think about the logics yourself and do stuff yourself and you know stuff so all i have to do is provide a latch which uses the uh, provide this latch with a delay so you know it if, if you're quite savvy with redstone you'll realize how it's working so yeah um i'll just load up the sand again it's actually supposed to be the same same circuit from here to here so 
so both things can happen at the same time so if the sand is down there it will collect at the same time uh, but whatever so we need to give a delayed pulse which as you can see is actually uh, 12 ticks long so instead of the 9 tick which is the button pulse whoa huh, there's a certain delay with the so uh, as you can see this button controls the mm, sand collection and the sand loading at the same time you can easily change the circuits to um, if you know change the circuit to have a separate loading and stuff so yeah i think this is a good addition to um, the to any trap trap thingy which is self loadable you can just go up there and load up the trap for like i don't know like 10 7 8 10 pretty much uses depending on the depth you're on since it's three sands each so if you got 10 tries you actually have 30 blocks so which is not actually that high here is the loading circuit which is sends the pulse up this uh, pulse carrying ladder corridor of ladder corridor ness which goes up here which goes on both sides repeats the pulse because just in case and then uses the repeaters again to push the pulse into the um, the uh, pistons if I use a redstone connection here the pistons will not extend because the redstone needs to be directly pointing inside the piston for it to work you can probably use it on the top level in case you have no space or on the bottom level like using the whoa whoa below part here you can have it on the bottom level as well that's not the point so yeah this is uh, I, b I believe a cool addition a cool addition to any um, trap thingy and uh, I think I'm quite happy with myself since I actually figured this out on out on my own and stuff and it 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 was quite fun to build actually um, so yeah thank you for enjoying uh, if you um, if you enjoyed the video then please tell me that in a comment or tell me how I can improve because I noticed there was some problems with while falling while running through there because the sand was falling unevenly like the closer sand was falling before the well you know the this sand was falling faster than this one so that there may be a little timing adjustment on the delays might have forgotten a few might have for, uh, forgotten messed up one of the delays here I, I don't know a anyway that that's quite acceptable I believe so yeah, if you have any um, queries, uh, just uh, ask me in a comment and stuff and I will um, see you again, I believe. Oh, also an another thing I wanted to ask, uh, what do I call this series um, where I make certain builds and show them? What do I call this series? I'm de debating on the name Minecraft Tech but I don't know it, it, it it's your call right now it doesn't have a name yet I'm just gonna write minecraft sand trap my idea something I, I I don't know I'll decide when I'm writing or when I'm editing but yeah also if you'd like uh, more explanation on how the pulse limiter works all or the pulse extender which you probably shouldn't because you should know these things uh, unless you're pretty much a redstone beginner in which case you're completely allowed to ask me and I my I will tell you I will try try my best to explain and stuff and stuffage and you get the idea also the endermen are completely overpowered right now they can move bedrock they can pick up bedrock and move it so that's gonna be annoying pretty much meaning they can actually vandalize blocks as much vandalize you know any any custom map also another thing they can pick up chests now and if you had something in that chest well good luck because that's gonna be deleted instantly and they don't drop the chest when they're killed they only drop ender pearls which currently are useless also the lack of the far lands being corrected but that's part of the new terrain generation i'm sure they're going to fix it because notch likes the far lands it stated in his original terrain generation blog post so yeah 
any anyway this is a nice nice little water hole i don't know how it happened like that it's kind of funny funny looking like a uh, two eyes and a nose and a happy face happy face whatever this is honest stuffs if you have a suggestion about the name of this series um tell me and uh if you have any questions tell me if yeah i'll have to work on this but yeah this is going night time so i bid you good night or whatever you're doing right now so yeah i bid you um enjoy what you did i hope you liked it i like my creation tell me in a comment uh and i will um see you again nighty night Nice, 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 nice.